it going, everybody? It is your boy, OG. Damn. And welcome back to another video. And today it's going to be a slightly shorter video than usual. But we are finally going to teach you guys how to perform the pumping maneuver on your longboards or cruiser boards or whatever type of board you want. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Let's go. Okay guys, so there are two main things that you're going to need to practice in order to be very proficient and good at pumping. Number one, you're going to want to practice very deep, nice, smooth, carvey turns. Being able to carve really well and being very comfortable on your board in that manner is going to help so much with pumping, you don't even know. Because what pumping really is, is just carving back and forth, but in a very controlled and fast manner. So being able to do very deep, stable, well thought out carves is gonna help you immensely in learning how to pump. The second thing you're gonna wanna practice is practice jumping on your board while you're riding. This helps you gain a greater control over the board and it also helps you practice your weight distribution on the board while pumping because pumping is gonna have you switching your weight from side to side and jumping is just gonna help you manage that weight a little better. Now before we get into exactly how to perform the pump, there are a few things you're, you guys are gonna wanna keep in mind about pumping in general. Number one is that for most boards, pumping is not actually going to be a way to increase your speed. Rather, it's going to be a way to maintain your current speed that you're going for a long, sustained distance. The reason you would want to do this is so that you don't have to push with your foot as much on the ground, and therefore your feet may not get as tired, those certain muscles won't have to work as hard, and you can get around with having both feet planted firmly on the board. The reason that I say most boards is because there are a few type of boards that are actually meant to be used with pumping to actually increase your speed and the number one example would be surf skates. Now I've never actually covered surf skates on this channel but it's definitely something that I will have to look into into the future but those things they are like they're meant for pumping. That's basically how you gain speed and use it. But that's a different video different story. This video is about pumping and in general what pumping is used for. Pumping is a lot of fun too but it takes a lot of time to master. Most people when they start out pumping it's gonna be rocking from side to side but really you're not gaining speed, you're not maintaining speed, you're actually losing speed because you're not doing it properly. So you just have to practice a lot and get a good feel for how the board works and how it gains speed under your feet and then replicate that. Another thing to keep in mind is that flexi boards tend to be easier to do pumping on. You don't have to do them on flexi boards, but it can help. And along with that, having a smaller footprint or smaller deck will also help you in that regard. So if you have a long board that's really long, if it's flexi, it's gonna be easier to pump. But if you have a small cruiser board that's stiff, as long as it's small, it's still gonna be easier. And to go along with that, having slightly loose trucks can actually be a good thing for longboard pumping versus having really tight trucks because the added stability is not necessary for pumping it's actually probably going to make it more difficult. Another thing, reverse kingpin trucks are definitely recommended because they're the best for cruising and they're going to feel the most natural with pumping. You can do them on regular, but I honestly would not recommend it. Finally, pumping it can be a lot easier on boards that have a very aggressive concave. So on both of the rails, when it's raised up a little bit, it's going to be a lot easier to pump because when you push down on your rails, it's going to give you a lot more drive on each turn to get more speed overall. You don't have to have high concave, but it definitely helps. And now, let's finally get into how to actually perform the pump. For me personally, when I do pumping on a longboard, I like to put my toes on the edge of the board and then I kind of have my heels just hanging off the other rail of the board. So my whole foot isn't on the board, my heels are just kind of hanging off and that really helps me so that when I push down on my heels, I can really get a solid push and generate a lot of force forward and that'll really help me keep my speed and momentum going over the whole pumping as long as I feel like doing it. So essentially all it is is really throwing your weight from rail to rail, back and forth in a controlled, fast, smooth manner. But it's not as simple as just rocking back and forth and pushing your weight back and forth. There's a little, little bit more to it than just that. So I want you to imagine when you push down on the rail of your board, imagine kind of pushing your body momentum forward as well as just pushing it down. So when you push down on the rail, your toe or your heel is gonna take most of your weight and turn your board. But while you're doing that, you wanna kind of throw your shoulder shoulders forward a little bit to kind of generate that forward thrusting momentum to carry the board forward to actually pick up speed. 
So really you just want to kind of follow the flow of the board because naturally when you push on the rail of the board it's going to kind of carve to that side but also go forward so you just kind of want to control that pushing to the right or left and also forward motion and just follow the flow of your board. So here's an example of kind of what I'm talking about if you can't picture it. I just took the board, flipped it upside down. I'm doing a demonstration that's very exaggerated of what I'm trying to talk about. So it's essentially pushing your weight on either your heel or your toe, but then you're kind of taking your feet. It's almost like your feet are turning towards the front of the board, except they're not. And your shoulders and your whole body is kind of pushing forward as well. So here's an example of what it would kind of actually look like. So as you can see, the feet are rocking back and forth, but they're not twisting, but you still kind of feel like you want them to twist so you can kind of push the board forward in that in that manner and honestly guys that's pretty much it it's pretty simple it just takes a lot of practice and you really just got to go out and get a feel for exactly how it works you'll know when you're doing it right because if you're doing it wrong your board's going to slow down and you can feel the wheels kind of catching on the ground and slowing you down when you're doing it right though you can feel the board when you turn kind of pushing itself forward like if you've ever ridden a ripstick you know how those work right so it's like your feet kind of twist like this or if, if you've ever ridden free skates it's the same thing just a little more complicated and you can feel when you twist back and forth with your feet that the board is being pushed forward it's the same thing with pumping it's just your board doesn't twist like this your feet just push and then you want to thrust your body forward on each push of the rail so it's a little confusing kind of explaining it but hopefully these clips that I've been showing out throughout the video have kind of gotten you guys used to how it looks just go out there practice I know anybody can do this and it really doesn't take that long just a few hours of good practice or just a few minutes each time you go out for a session and you'll, you're gonna get it down pretty quickly and you're gonna have a lot of fun so keep practicing you guys got this I know you do and let me know in the comments if you got it or if there's any other questions you have about it or if you're struggling with something I'll try to reach out answer and help you as best as I can or just be like hey what's up good job bro you got this let's go And with that being said, guys, that's about all I got for the video. If you liked it, I really appreciate hitting the like button. And if you really, 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 really liked it, then I appreciate you hitting the subscribe button with the post notifications turned on so we can get ourselves to 1,000 subscribers because we're doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. And I'm also getting a haircut at 1,000 subscribers. It may look like my hair is pretty short right now, but I can assure you it's not. And anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Stay stoked, keep riding, keep practicing, keep being awesome. And I'll see you guys on Saturday for the next video, which will be a vlog. So peace out. Have a good rest of your week, guys.